Hi guys, welcome to Symboltech Working Bench. So, my previous uh, video was about Amcam Nelson Plus Amplifier and I finished to solder everything in the PCB board and I'm waiting to do the power supply. So, today I received some stuff on the mail and I'm pretty sure that it's something related to the parts that I need to finish that project. So, without further ado, let's go to my working bench and start open all this stuff. I'm gonna start with this box first so let's open and let's see what is inside first let's see if there is any description so in description say amplifiers well i don't remember to order any amplifier but anyway if we are gonna open we're gonna see what is inside so i think if i open here well packed i can see there is uh, this bubble wrap it should keep safe everything inside which surprises because as i say i don't remember to order any amplifier recently It's a kit, by the way, but let's see which kit is. So I can see some RCA connectors. Then there is some wires. Uh, yeah, let's see which kind of wires they are. So they are some signal wires. I can see here. Yes, yeah, signal wires and some normal wires few resistors diode led oh nice relays how many volts are five volts relays yeah they are really nice so four of the four relays then we have a pushy button then we have more LEDs they are jumpers for these ones an IC over here I can see is an CD4017B then it's still gonna be a bridge rectifier what else there is in this bag? let me just take them down like that so some capacitors then we have PCB board, here they were gonna be the relays, another board, uh huh. So this board I think it will gonna be the pushy button over here. Yeah, the pushy button and the LEDs over there. Some other diodes, transistors to I think the transistor are the one that uh, keep the load for the relays because I believe the IC it will not have enough uh, amps handling to run the relay and then what else we have here Opa. we have also a voltage regulator yeah 5 volts voltage regulator and some other LEDs and I think this one is an input selector because as you can see in this chassis that I'm going to use for my project for the Amcam Nelson Pass there is four inputs so that's why this one has the same four inputs and I want to use for that selector these relays because it's better to switch the input straight away through the relays than to just go with the long signal wire to the to a normal switch uh, selector so yeah this one it will gonna be for the same project so let's see from where I buy and how much I pay on the switch input selector I buy it from Aliexpress and you can see I pay on eight pounds 39 pence and it's coming from China definitely and let's see if the seller still selling this item so you can see the seller still selling this item there is uh, two option I think there is this option to soldering and there is this option option that everything is soldered in place so the seller is unison global store and if you might want to buy you're gonna find the link on the description below okay so let's open the second one quite a bit heavy let's have a look what we have inside because description doesn't have because also come from uh, uk this one so let's have a look oh nice capacitors let's see which kind of capacitor are those ones so are 25 volts 4700 microfarad 
watts. So yeah, this capacitor I buy for my power supply board for the Amcamp Nelson Pass amplifier because I am planning to design the PCB board and then thanks to Vishal that he bring this uh, mini CNC machine here, I'm gonna try to mill my PCB board with the power supply. So I'm planning on the power supply to use transformer, rectifier and one capacitors and then resistors 0.1 or 0.2 and another two capacitor in parallel after the resistor and then it will gonna be the power supply for the amp cap so pass. Let's see from where I buy and how much I pay on. I ordered the capacitor through eBay from Switch Elec uh, seller. They cost me just £4.99 with shipping included here in the UK and let's see if the sellers still are selling this capacitor. So if I go to click on the seller still selling. Capacitor is from 10 to maximum 4700 microfarads and uh, three kinds of voltage 16 volt 25 and 35 volts and you can order pack of 10 25 or 50 so if you are interested on link on the description below okay so let's see what is in this the last one a bigger one so let's have a look nice well packed okay empty there is nothing inside let's have a look what we have here yeah so this one is the transformer for my Amcam Nelson Pass. So it's a dual 15 volts because I'm gonna use, as I say, 240 volts come in here and then I'm gonna use this one with one rectifier with um, smoothing, the other secondary with one rectifier and another smoothing because I'm gonna power separately. As I mentioned in the last my video, I said that I couldn't make a test after I soldered everything in the PCB board because Amcam Nelson Pass doesn't work well if it you share the same power supply so they need to have separate rectifiers separate capacitors for smoothing but that's why i choose this one and definitely you are gonna be surprised how much i pay on let's go to see from where i buy and how much i pay in that transformer the transformer i buy from ebay as well from a uk seller how you can see here rs 100 volt ampere transformer 50 60 hertz new in original box comes from ap underscore b123 let's see if are still selling these ones but first let's see how much i pay on so I pay £9 plus £3.20 shipping included. So let's have a look if they are still selling. So apparently it looks like the seller doesn't sell them anymore. Let's have a look. If I click on this one, doesn't do. So let's go to the seller page and see if he's selling that item. So let's go to the seller page. And apparently I cannot see items for sale. So let's see if it still have this transformer. So if we're gonna put the lowest price and looks like there is no more that transformer. So maybe it was the last one that I buy. Who knows? Anyway. I will not be able to put a link in the description because apparently the seller doesn't have any more that transformer. So a few days ago when we shall come and bring me the CNC machine to try to make my PCB board for the power supply of the Amcam Nelson Pass amplifier, he bring me also a small gift. So let's have a look what he bring me over here. Okay, so we have a PCB board, which I can see that there is a mini HDMI input and a micro USB input over here, some connectors around, and this one is i believe a touch screen lcd display which i'm gonna give a try and i'm gonna definitely find a project for using this he bring me also this sony vintage audio amplifier to service it so please subscribe activate the notification bell stay tuned because definitely i'm gonna come with a nice video when i'm gonna do the full service on this amplifier if you enjoyed this video guys, please put a like and share my video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, activate the notification bell like that also you will not miss any video on my channel. Until the ne next video guys, my cat want to tell you that I say something to them, huh? don't be so lazy today, that I tell them something. Today is a bit too lazy this cat, I don't know what's going on with him. Anyway, until the next video guys, bye bye!